Hello all, hope you're all doing good. Please stay home and stay safe first. Here in this video, we are gonna see how can we create master data relationship when there are no data and when there are some data in the objects. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create master data relationship for objects with no records, which is pretty simple and straightforward. And then we are gonna see how the master data relationship can be created when we have some records in the object. I'm gonna go over step-by-step -step details in a while. What is master data relationship? So it is like a parent-child relationship where master is parent and detail is child. So master object controls certain behaviors of detail object like who can see, who can access, uh, like certain level of permissions uh, created it like that so everything will be controlled by master object so let's go to the requirement so here uh, we are going to create a master detail relationship with no records in the child object so it is pretty simple so let's go to our arc well, here i'm going to create a new custom object let's call us category and this is okay and select this so that the tab will be automatically created in your app so choose appropriate icon I'm just selecting this icon. Okay, next. Default is on. Next. Include. And next. Okay, we have created a new object. So we don't have any data in this object. Only we have this three auto populate fields right there. So for our requirement is to create a relationship between this category fee object and I'm going to create this relationship between account object and this category object. So let's go ahead and create a new master detail relationship next. And I'm still choosing the object account here next. Okay, next. Yeah. Next. Save. Here we have created a new relationship master detail for account in the category object. Since we don't have any uh, data in the object, it's pretty simple. We have created it. So if you see the object if we go to the object we have created category we don't have any data here like if i'm creating anything so see i'm getting this account lookup so this is what the relationship master detail relationship that we have created between category object and the account object so that is it we have completed our first requirement Let's see our next requirement. And the second requirement is to create a master detail relationship with some records in the child object. So we have to follow the below steps. First, we have to create a lookup relationship and then uh, all the lookup fields. So uh, it should have some values. It should not be blank and convert the lookup to master. So let's see how can we do that. Let's go to our org. So I logged into my org. So I'm going to use the same object that we have created in the previous requirement. So here we are not having any data. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to delete the relationship that we have already created. So yeah, it is deleted. So now we don't have any. Uh, relationship between this category object and the account object 
before that, I'm going to create some data. Okay, indexing will be there. Uh, let refresh and create some data again. So we have some data here. So let's see what uh, what happens if I creating a master detail relationship when we have some data in this object. So I'm gonna refresh. Okay, I'm gonna create new relationship using master detail. Next. Choosing the account. Next. That is fine. Next. Okay. This is fine. See, we are getting this weird error. So ideally, they should not display the master detail button when we are trying to create a new relationship. But anyhow, they are throwing this error. So what is this error so we cannot create master detail relationship especially when we have some data uh, in the object so to overcome this we have to create a lookup relationship first between this category and account so let's create a lookup relationship lookup relationship between account now next Next, next, and save. So lookup uh, relationship is created. So what happens to the data? So data will not have any value for that field. We have created a new field, right? So account is blank. So we, once we have created this lookup field, we have to populate a value for the field. So for our requirement, I'm going to create, like I'm going to update this data with some account. Last time. So I have mapped all the records with the account now. So we have uh, all the mappings now. Let's confirm that I'm creating just creating a view. So let's add the account. So we have the data. So all the records is mapped with account. So now lookup value have the account uh, values. So what we can do now is we can convert the lookup relationship into master. So what I did is like I choose the field here and I am editing it and you'll see change field type here you can select it and now this master detail relationship will be enabled you can choose that next next this is fine next category okay and save boom that is it so now what is changed to master detail relationship when you have data in your uh, object don't go directly to a master detail relationship just create a lookup relationship 
and make sure your lookup fields are populated with the appropriate values and then convert your lookup relationship to master detail. So that is it. Just for our requirement, I have created three records and I uh, populated the values in the lookup relationship. But when you are in your production org, you will be seeing uh, tens and thousands of records and you have to populate uh, the correct values in all the fields. So you can use data loader or Salesforce inspector to populate the value. Once it is done, then you can directly convert your lookup relationship to master detail. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, let us meet in our next video.